Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we're going to do the drop test for the Pelican Pro Gear Vault Series CE3180. That's a really long name for a case, but this is a shockproof, water-resistant case for the iPad Mini as well as the iPad Mini with the Retina screen. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a.ca. Eh? Now this case is kind of unique in it on its own because it has this gigantic metal hinge that is made out of air aircraft grade aluminum according to Pelican but it keeps everything together and so you've got this gigantic front cover that covers your uh, screen and I do have to mention that this case does not have a built-in screen protector. You can install a 30 third party screen protector but it doesn't come with one. Now with that being said I'm just wondering if you guys actually care about having a built-in screen protector. I know when I did the reviews for the LifeProof Nudes people asked that question a lot and I'm curious to know Know what you guys think about this case. Now at mobilereviewsa.ca, eh? we don't concern ourselves with the little stuff, you know, like small drops. We're gonna take it to its limit. It says it's gonna be droppable from four feet, 1.2 meters. That's the uh, kind of the standard. I haven't found any iPad cases that allows me to drop it any higher than that. So we are gonna do what we are very good at, which is turning on the camera on our iPad mini and filming all of this with a bunch of different cameras. So let's get started. Okay, so it should be filming. Now, the first one that we're gonna do is, you know, kind of on the table and somebody just does this to it. Now, the one thing that we care about with this case is to see if the cover actually stays on. Because there is no screen protector and the cover comes flying off, there's a good chance it might land face first. And if you're in a gravel parking lot, then you've, you're going to have a pretty scratched up iPad mini. But hey, it did not do that. That was about two and a half feet. We'll say chest height's about four feet. From here, we're going to drop it. Again, it stayed together. Video is still recording. It doesn't look like there's any damage to the screen. That's the other thing that we look at is, you know, <laughs> is the iPad mini actually damaged? And it doesn't look like it. Let's do one more. It'll put a bit of gumption to it this time. That one sounded like it should have hurt. Now the headphone jack, oh, we've got noticeable discoloration in this one corner. So we've definitely, oh, we've got noticeable discoloration in this corner. I think that we are gonna have to get in closer. The iPad screen seems fine. It's still recording. Well, let's crack it open and see uh, what we did to it. One of the problems with these cases, is that there's six screws that you have to take apart and it's, kind of a pain to do so, especially when you review cases and you have to take it in, take it out. But that's probably a good thing for the normal consumer since you know that these screws most definitely keep your uh, device safe. Probably the biggest thing that we check for with these drop tests is to see if the case protects it from actual physical damage. And it looks like there isn't anything going on with this case. Corner still seem fine. There's no breaks in the glass. Well, the iPad looks fine. Still works, still powers on. Let's take a look at the inside. Now, as you can tell, one of the, the corners that we've dropped it on, it's kind of discolored. It's all gray, but it's got this white bump or bent in it. This side seems pretty um, beat up. That's not too bad. Take a closer look at the inside. And it doesn't look like that piece looks fine. And the other corner is over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like the outside. So the external panel seems to be slightly deformed, but on the inside, it all looks fine. So it definitely did keep the iPad mini safe in the case. If you have any questions about this 
case, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, do check out the guys that we got this case from. They're uh, OCLI.ca and they got a lot of Pro Pelican products. Now, mind you, these cases, they're apparently flying off the shelves because they're very popular. We got stuck having to buy the orange one. We were hoping to get maybe a not orange one because this one, the inside looks like a psychedelic uh, coat of a zebra, but hey, we'll get whatever we can. I'm Aaron The Ho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviews.ca. Eh? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. If this is the first time you're seeing one of our videos, I do encourage you to push subscribe as we do one mobile accessory review every single week. So we come up with a series of videos and we try to get you guys involved as well. So if you got questions about it, ask us early on in the week and we'll try to incorporate them into the videos. As you just saw, definitely keep your iPad mini safe in the Pelican CE 3180. Thank you for watching. Thank you.